A few weeks back, we had a look at Geometric Futures Squama 2505, a very interesting fan, certainly a beautiful design and enough static pressure to bend a case's front panel if it happens to be built like a concrete wall. However, there was a problem with the fan swing design. It was so focused on static pressure, which came at the cost of noise. And then the overall noise of performance started to look a bit Meh. Meet the Squama 2503 with the promise to solve this issue and push the Squama lineup to the front of the benchmark charts. With seven a lot longer and more heavily bent wings, this model is going for more airflow per millimeters of H2O static pressure while keeping the overall noise as low as possible. In contrast to the 2505 line, the 2503 doesn't come with that beautiful yellow design. Aww. Now we are left with two options, a black and a white one. However, both of them are ARGB. And let me tell you, as far as my opinion is concerned, this is the most beautiful implementation of ARGB that I have ever seen. On both sides of the fan, we've got a rounded off square filled with LEDs. Unfortunately, I have no clue how many are in there. It doesn't say on the box or spec sheet or website. I have no idea, but... Good God, they, this is the cleanest line, the smoothest animation that I have ever seen. Really, really good job. Ignoring the fans, blades and performance for a minute, except for the ARGB, there are not a ton of differences compared to a Squama 2505. We still have the anti-vibration mounting, we still got the pretty robust and well-made frame, the nice looking curve on the inner side of the frame is also still present, including all of those mini hexagons that are meant to reduce any type of turbulence and enhance the overall airflow while keeping noise as low as possible. And something that I forgot to mention in the previous review, the inside of the frame, like this whole part here, is not made out of PBT, instead it's a, a bit harder rubber. I almost missed it because it's I'm usually not trying to scratch it, so I, I, I don't, but if you like rub your nail against it, you can feel it, it's rubber, it's not plastic. The inside of a triple pack is also looking suspiciously like a Squama 2505. We got three fans with 15cm RGB and PVM cables that are perfectly sized to allow placing three fans right next to each other without any cable mess. And we got three extensions for each adapter that are 50 centimeters long and that got that handy splitter on one end. And as we now only got ARGB versions of this fan, everyone will come with that Geometric Future ARGB controller powered by SATA with a little button right in the center that allows to switch over its modes. And yes, if you want to control it by software, just ditch the included controller and connect the proprietary to non-proprietary ARGB extension directly to your 3-pin ARGB motherboard header. With all of that said, let's get to the fan itself. Compared to a Squama 2505, the 2503 is not such a static pressure machine anymore but it's more on the general use case side. The seven heavily bent wings certainly suggest that. Oh, and it's also a nice touch that the 2503 ditched that sticker from the original one in favor of a stamped in Geometric Future logo, which looks, uh, it looks nice. Anyway, the new design is able to push about 69 CFM at 2.92 mm of H2O while spinning at up to 2000 RPM and while being controlled over PVM. So compared to the Squama 2505, we are now a lot closer to something like an NF-A12X25. But how did the different fan blade design affect performance? Well, in a very good way, sort of. Letting it spin at 100% of its max fan speed in our usual hybrid test forced the Squama 2503 to fall from 43.9 degrees C to 48.2 above ambient. Quite the huge jump, placing it now in between an Arctic F14 and P14, but that's still a pretty good position. P14s and F14s are pretty good fans and they are 140 millimeters, so still very okay. However, the thing I am hoping for is noise to performance and on that front, it got quite the uplift. Instead of forcing its way to the top of the list, a 2503's noise to performance line now looks a lot more like for example a Lightwing 120 high speed and it displays the whole line a lot closer to the best of the best, making it now an above average fan. Sure, it's still not a Nokia NFA 12X25, that's for sure, but on the high end and the low end, 
it outperformed an Arctic P12 ARGB 0DB and that's already something quite huge to accomplish. So where does it leave us? Well, concentrating on performance, I would always favor a Squama 2503 to a 2505. Sure, I love the yellow color, but the noise to performance ratio of a 2503 is just a lot better in the end. And that's why I would always go for it. What I think Geometric Future tried to do here is create a more general use case fan, giving the users an option to not have an insane static pressure machine, which would be unusable anyway, and in return, give them a quieter fan. And they achieved that. The fan may not be as high on the max performance chart anymore, but it is an overall winner in my opinion. As far as the design is concerned, you, you have to decide for yourself, but we just love it. We already loved the orange version, and we love it more, but the ARGB implementation on this one is so freaking beautiful, I have never seen something like that. The fan's design as a whole is just something different, and I am all for it, but it's just design and that's up to you. But the overall quality is also top notch, and compared to, for example, an Oxia fan, I don't really see any point in which a squammer is left behind. So get it or not? Well. Yes, I believe this is a fine choice. You, it may not be the best one, because yes, a Lightwing 120 high speed still outperforms it, but as an independent product, um, you will do nothing wrong. The Skoma 2505, however, is just too much. For general use cases, I would suggest going for this one. But okay, this should be for Geometric Future and their Skoma 2503B. At this point, a huge thank you to Geometric Future for sending it over, but if you want to keep watching, have a look at our take on the Squama 2505Y. Insane static pressure, but it's orange. On a side note, we now also have channel membership, so if you are looking for a good way to sell your soul for an RG poop emoji, that's a pretty good way to go. Additionally, you can rest assured that the income will not only keep the channel afloat, but it will also serve to have more money for a new font of Squama, because apparently it, it, yeah, it turned out it's more expensive than I thought, but yeah. Anyway, thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.